Hi DS fans, this is Igor with HDHead.com and this is one of my final Avid DS tutorials. Certainly the last time I'm visiting the subject of EDL notching in DS. I've covered it at least once, maybe two other times before. You're welcome to look at the older tutorials, although in this one I'm going to try to cover everything we did in the old ones, make it more concise and use an updated tool. So really this is all you need. Notching is a process where we take an EDL and we take a contiguous file-based clip that came from a client, lay it on a timeline and cut it up. A lot of other softwares have automated way of doing this, either using an EDL or using automatic scene detection. DS unfortunately does not, but it is very, very quick and easy to do it with the method I'm about to demonstrate. So here on the left, we have a QuickTime that came from a client, or we're pretending it's a QuickTime that came from a client. It's really a single clip that has these alternating A and B, red and green frames, simulating actual shots in a clip. And we also have a regular EDL that came from Final Cut. So what we do is go to Multi Instance Views, Web. You can also use whatever web browser you're comfortable with. At hdhead.com website, there's a button in the upper right that says Tools. This website might change, so even if it looks different, just look for the button that takes you to the tools page. Then we'll click on Avid DS EDL Notching Tool. We'll click on Browse and find the EDL that the client gave us. Open it and upload it. Then we'll save the processed file. You can save it anywhere because it's really uh, for one time use only. I'll save it on the desktop for simplicity. You'll notice it has an underscore odd EDL and you'll see in a second what that means. Now we can close the browser. I'll go to the EDL tool of AvidS, click on L for load, and we'll navigate and find the list we have just saved. It's a short list just for this one demo. It only has 17 events. But if you look at the event column, only the odd events are there, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so forth. All the even events were taken out by the online tool. In a minute, you'll see why that is. As the next step, we'll click on the EDL to DS conform button and select Create Timeline Clips. You can really do create both or create timeline clips. However, we don't need the clips in the bin. We only need the clips on the timeline, so it's simpler if we create timeline clips only. We'll press Conform, and here's our conform timeline. Now what we do is we need to make a duplicate of the original clip. So I will select it and copy it, and I will create another video track and paste the clip on this video track. So now we have our original and a copy of the clip uh, perfectly in sync with one another. Then by holding a shift key, I'm going to click and drag on these clips that conform from the EDL. And I will press question mark, shift question mark that is, to mark in and out around the selection. And I will click, hold and drag these clips onto either one of our source clips and drop them there. While they're still red selected, I will hit delete on the keyboard. So that has killed all the clips. Now I'm going to do the same thing again by holding shift, dragging, selecting all these, marking in and out around these clips. The purpose of the in and out is just to enhance the, uh, uh, the magnetism in DS. So we make sure we don't slip these clips out of time. So we'll click hold and drop them. And here we have our cuts. Let's zoom in and see if I advance to the next edit. Zoom in a little. See right there on the cut, there's a, there's a cut in the DS. It's as simple as that. Each cut is in place. If the list had any dissolves, a good idea would be to load the original list and in the column that says C for cuts, you would see the dissolves and Ws for wipes. Then you can go in and, and rebuild all those wipes in case you need them. Uh, for example, if you're doing color correction, you may want to keep those dissolves in place so you simplify bridging between two color corrections on two adjacent shots. That's all. You can use the online tool at hdhead.com. And as I, I think I've mentioned, the website might change, so it may look different when you go there, but just look for the tool page.